In this video, we're going to first confirm that we have the bridge.net for Visual Studio extension installed. Then we're going to create a new C Sharp class library project. We're going to compile that project. And as a final step, we're going to run the app in a web browser just to make sure everything's working. So let's get started. Our first step is to ensure that we have the bridge.net for Visual Studio extensions installed. And to do that, you go up to the tools menu and select extensions and updates. And under the installed tab, you should see a list of all the uh, extensions you have installed. I have bridge installed already, but if you did not have it installed, you'd click on the online tab and then search for bridge. And the first result back should be bridge.net and there would be an install button or an add button. And you just click that, follow steps, and it should only take a few moments to install. Now that we know we have the bridge extensions installed, let's create a new project. And to do that, you go to the file menu and select new project. And under the visual C sharp uh, option, you should see a bridge menu uh, option and a new class library template and we're going to call this uh, sample demo one and Visual Studio is going to create a new project for us and uh, install bridge and set up a default app.cs file for us. This default application is quite simple. We're just going to create a basic HTML button. We're going to set the text of the button to click me and then we're going to wire up an on-click event handler to write a message to the bridge console. At this point, we haven't made any changes to our application, but let's compile the project and get this running in a web browser. To do that, we select the solution and then right click and choose build solution. The bridge compiler is going to start up and create some JavaScript files for us. And those files are placed into the bin directory of the project. Uh, by default, the bin directory is hidden in Visual Studio, but if you select the project and then click this button, show all files, you can now see the bin folder. And if we open this, we see the debug folder. And there's this new bridge folder. Inside the bridge folder is a series of files that have been created for us, but we're really only interested in two for now. The first is this demo1.js, which is our app.cs file that's been converted into JavaScript. Here's our HTML button, uh, our click event text, and the on-click event handler that's been wired up for us. The other file we'll review is index.html. This is automatically created by Bridge and includes the proper JavaScript file references. Uh, here we have bridge.js, and here's our demo1.js. The other JavaScript files we'll go through in another video, but for now, let's get this running in a web browser. There's a number of different ways to view this file in a web browser, but the easiest is probably just clicking on the index HTML file and then right click and you select open with, and there's a list of applications and you just need to select a web browser from the list. I'm gonna click uh, select Chrome and click okay. And it's gonna open up uh, Chrome and here's our index HTML and here's our click me button. And when we click the button, it writes a message to the console. Let's go back to our application and make a simple change just to ensure everything is working properly. I'm going to create a simple counter and we're going to update the count, uh, message with our count value. And on each click, we will just increment the counter. So we're going to save the file and then click on solution and build solution. Uh, the bridge compiler is going to recompile our files and let's go back to the web browser. We're going to uh, reload the page. Here's our click me button. And when we click, the count is updated each time. Let's quickly review the steps we took to create this application. Of course, the first step was to ensure the extension was installed by going to tools, extensions, and updates. And we had bridge.net installed. The second step was to create a new project with file new project and we had bridge.net class library project. Uh, the third step was to compile the application by selecting the solution and going right click and build solution. And the fourth step was to find the index HTML file and right click on that file, select open with, and we chose, uh, chose a web browser from the list and clicked okay. And uh, that's it. Hope this helps.